Hey friends, Terry Greer, and I wanted to make this video about digital versus analog tools as an insurance agent or a financial advisor, I guess, or, or some type of maybe salesperson. I wrote an article uh, that on Medium four or five years ago about using my bullet journal, which I'm an avid user of the bullet journal, uh, for doing my sales. And over time it's evolved. And, and if you know me at all, you probably see me with this book. I've, I've been using a bullet journal system since 2014, fall of 2014. And, uh, I wish I would have been doing it sooner. And there's nothing revolutionary about the bullet journal. And every time I get in discussions, people want to talk about, well, I've got my digital system, I've got this system. And I have, for the last year in 2019, spent a lot of time trying to put myself, matter of fact, I bought that iPad with a pen, trying to see, okay, is it is it the writing? Uh, I can do that on an iPad. And I want to talk a little bit about kind of what my experience is and why I still think having some type of paper uh, matters. So um, let's just go back to the digital, right? So the digital for me is very good at reminders, right, into the future. It's good for the capturing, like when I was working with my iPad here at my desk, writing things down uh, is great. It's there, it's one tool to keep with you. The issue comes back into using and getting a higher level view back out of that, right? So how I use my bullet journal, the number one thing uh, is not productivity. So most people immediately when you go into productivity, digital, analog, they think, well, what's going to be the most efficient? And what's most efficient and what's most effective, and I'm not even sure if I'm using those words correctly, are not always the same thing. So for me the bullet journal and having a piece of paper with my favorite Muji pen offers the quietness of my mind. I can sit, so I've, if you notice, I've got two sections of my desk. You can't see this one, but this literally mirrors each other, except I have a window right there in front of me. And my computer's right here in front of me, right? Here's, here's my mouse and, and my keyboard. You can't see my screen, but it's literally right here. And my point is, in the mornings I sit on that side with my iPad and I look at my calendar and I look at my, at my to-do app uh, and mainly what goes in my to-do app is my, is my reminders into the future. And I, and I journal, I write my mantras, I get my mind right, and I do what I call a daily spread. I write out that day kind of a time bar, what, how my day looks. Yes, my calendar is actually kept digitally and I execute off digitally. I accept meeting requests digitally, right? But there's something about sitting down and just thinking, okay, you know what? Uh, it's 6.30 in the morning, 6 a.m. in the morning. Um, what is eight o'clock gonna look like today? What is 12 o'clock gonna look like today? What is, um, when am I gonna go to the gym? That sort of thing. So then, when I actually do the tactical day-to-day, -day, I'm sitting at my desk and I'm going through either my sales process, things like that, interruptions happen, right? And that's where when I have my daily spread, meaning that I've got the day at the top, you could do this without even having a journal. I think having a, uh, as a 50-year-old man now, I can afford an $18 book like this instead of like looking like I'm, I'm a poor college student. It's great, I do one per quarter, and when I'm done, I'm able to, look back through my my quarter essentially and look for lessons learned for things that i want to carry forward things that didn't work but uh in a day-to-day -day tactical let's get back to the tactics i'm cruising along i'm doing things digital i'm in my management system uh i'm in my pipe drive doing sales and someone says something to me it's very quick for me to pick up the pin and i can start taking notes the critical element is what i call the syncing of the digital to the analog, which has to be done on a daily basis. So after, if I get interrupted, for example, I write it down so that I can go back to my task. Instead of tabbing over and looking, there is, there just for me, uh, it's hard for me to keep my mind focused on the task, right? When I've got all these things going on, it's so easy to, when I can just see, uh, I open when I, 
when I'm faced with the hard thing, I think so many people have written about this and I wish I would have really understood this when I was younger. When you're faced with that hard thing and you're pressing on it and, and YouTube is just one click away, it's very easy to let your mind escape over there. You've got to control it and force it in, force it uh, to do the task. So do I use split screen and type and all of that other jazz? Absolutely. All, all the tools available to me digitally I use. But I use the bullet journal when, when things get into my mind that, that if I'm like, oh, my mind is screaming at me. Well, what about that thing? You just thought about this new gizmo for your bicycle. Uh, shouldn't you search that on Amazon? I could put that into a digital space, no doubt, and put it in a task list. And, but there again, then I'm clicking away. I'm moving my screen away from what I'm really trying to be. And I'm actually giving my mind that option to chase. But if I write, if I write it down, hey, research that tool on Amazon later. Boom, it's captured, I know it's good. I can tell my mind to just settle down and I go back to the task at hand. And then at the end of the day, uh, I look through my day and anything that is further than tomorrow, in other words, if it's like call Susie next week, I put that back into my digital space and, and it'll pop up for me to review in my morning routine, right? Uh, if it's just like, oh, I didn't finish X, Y, or Z, then I just note that because tomorrow morning I'm going to look through, uh, look for those notes and then move that to the next day to be like, I got to execute on this. And I also use my daily spread at the top for my sales tracking, right? So when I get into my sales mode and I have my time block for that, I'm like, I want to make sure that I add five to 10 new prospects, whatever it is for that day. And I check those off so that, that I'm focused because, um, as you know, you can you can die in that ditch of being busy, but you've got to generate. You've got to do. You got to take care of your existing clients, and you've also got to acquire new clients. And it's it's a very delicate balancing act. Uh, the last thing that I want to share with you that I think is powerful about about the bullet journal is that pulling back when things go into digital, it's hard to really kind of get an overview of like how much stuff have I done, what's going on, and and I was talking to my friend. Uh, my new friend, Ben, who found me on LinkedIn and asked me about this, my, my, my setup. We had a call this week, as a matter of fact. It was pretty cool. And let's say you're going along, you, you uh, are working, you get interrupted by a phone call from Susie. Susie wants to engage and possibly do business with you. And you start taking notes with Susie and da-da-da-da-da. And uh, you put it all in. You put a reminder for three. You know, She's like, you know, I'm not ready to make a move now, but let's chit-chat in three weeks. Well, let's say she calls you prior to those three weeks and you've got all the notes in there and everything else and you've got your little handy book here, right? And you know for a fact she called with a follow-up question and, and she calls you three days into the future, four days into the future. You can easily open the book and flip back, right? At, at just while, while you're speaking with her with so little friction, you don't have to be clicking and where did I put that and what's, what's Susie's last name. You don't even have, you just have to know, oh, I talked to this person because your brain will probably be like, yeah, I know that. And you flip back and you will find the notes. Um, you'll find the notes that you wrote and you're able to be like, hey, Susie, absolutely. Yeah. I remember that we talked on Wednesday the 8th. Um, yeah, it's a great conversation. Yeah. Okay. So I remember, you know, you do X, Y, and Z. So what can I help you with? And, and they have a sense, wow, this guy's on his game. He remembers the phone call. Uh, you've got your notes there to continue the process. And uh, I think there's huge value there. There again, you can sync it back into your digital space, but capturing and executing on the day is phenomenal. If you go to bulletjournal.com, you can learn about the whole system that they have. Um, which I use a good deal of it personally, but I also use a digital ta task manager. Like I use the Microsoft to do one because I use windows and I also use our management system, right? For, for client file. And I use pipe drive, uh, for sales activities. So I've got three digital tools and an analog tool. And then if you count the calendar, that's four digital tools and my bullet journal, that's a hell of a lot. So for me, management system, anything to do with the client, because I've got a, I've got a document for the whole office. Two, leads and people that I'm trying to outreach to go into pipe drive and I'm setting reminders to make sale, to do sales activities, calls, emails, videos, whatever. Three, uh, the third tool is to do. That's my digital reminder like, oh, I got a notice in the mail that I have to uh, register my truck in 60 days. Well, putting it in the bullet journal 
there's a way of potentially doing that, but just sticking it in to do and reminding myself, um, and it also syncs with my phone, so it's boom, I've got that covered. Calendar hard landscape uh, of what's going on, right? If you, if you haven't noticed, this is a modified, mashed up GTD, David Allen kind of thing, uh, along with the bullet journal. And the bullet journal is for my capture, the quietness of the mind, uh, pen to paper, capturing ideas, uh, executing on the day, uh, I have a monthly calendar that I write that I write down so I can just kind of overview my my workout plans, my diet things, uh, all kinds of things. Uh, so if you have any questions, I'm gonna leave it leave a link down below. Uh, just like Ben did, you know, I have a little calendar thing where you can see my calendar if you want to talk for five or ten minutes. Uh, happy to get you, happy to you know talk on the phone with you and answer some questions directly. Um, wishing you the best. Long video. I did not write an outline, so it might be a little disjointed, uh, but I hope you find some value in the new year and, uh, and uh, wishing you the best.